Okay, guys, in this episode, Chase Jenkins is going to go and talk about the junkyard prone. Hey, folks, Chase Jenkins from Talon Defense. We're out here at the Mobile Metro Law Enforcement Training Facility, Mobile, Alabama. We're going to continue working on some of these unconventional shooting positions. Um, again, not necessarily positions of advantage, but out of necessity. So what we're going to look at today is um, working over the top. I'm a big advocate of always working the vertical angles so we don't expose as much. Anytime we start working that horizontal angle to get a sight picture on the target, we have to expose everything that's important to us and staying alive and sustaining life for the bad guy to shoot. So always hunt for the vertical, but let's talk about some things we can do if we are forced to work over that horizontal, right? So getting into the junkyard prone position, got this from Kyle Lamb years ago. And as I see folks implementing it in training, what I see is I'm not using the correct technique, not using it properly. So some of the time we see guys get into this position, they're not maximizing the cover that they can use and what they're putting between them and the bad guy, right? So let's talk about what we see that's errant first, right? So we'll see guys get into this position. They get the gun laid up on the car, right? Cause we want to lower that profile. And that's what this does for us by turning that gun on a vertical axis, all right? What guys want to do, they tend to want to do, is to get up on the gun, right? They want to get that stock on the shoulder, get up close to the optics so they can get that sight picture, all right? So if you'll notice to do that, one, I still expose a large portion of what's important to me to stay in life above this vehicle, right? Um, so if I'm going to do that, I might as well just get in the conventional prone position over this hood, right? All right, so to maximize this, what we want to do is I push that carbine out as far as I can possibly push it, right? Does a couple things for me. It's going to push it out over the curvature of that hood so I'm not putting rounds down into the hood of the car. It allows me to back away from the car as much as possible. This is going to lower that profile, right? I want to get that stock on my forearm. Yep, so the bigger the forearm, the better it is. So you need to go to the gym, yes? I want to get the grip of the gun like a motorcycle throttle as I crank down on that grip, it forces that stock into the forearm. This locks the gun in and makes it steady, okay? So I back away from it. One of the issues we'll see is guys will start fishing around to try to find their reticle or a sight picture from that optic. If you'll take that support hand, reach out and grab that optic, that's naturally gonna draw the eye to it. It's gonna help you find that sight picture as quick as possible. Cause again, we talked about with all these positions, if it takes you a long time to get into them, then the bad guy's not gonna stand around and wait for you to get in that perfect position and get that sight picture, right? He's gonna be moving. So any advantage we get in these is having to get into them out of them very quickly, right? So now we've got the gun. We have defeated the problem of the curvature of the hood. We have lowered our profile as much as we possibly can. We've got the gun locked in and steady, so it's gonna aid us in being accurate with it. We've reached out and touched the optic, drawn our eyes to it, so that has gave us a sight picture, right? So we don't wanna work that safety until I have that sight picture I want. I don't wanna be fishing with it because when I take the safety off, that's the finger's permission to go to the trigger. So I'll work that safety. I've got my sight picture. I know because of where I'm at, I've got clear uh, muzzle. And we'll work the bad guy. All right, safety on, taking back that environment, pulling the gun back. We would try to fight to a more advantageous portion of the vehicle. All right. So again, getting down into it quick, both knees, push that gun out, grab that optic, lower that profile, work the back. All right, guys, Chase Jenkins, Talon Defense. See you on the range. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Bravo Company Manufacturing, Bravo Company USA, Car Arms, Cheaper Than Dirt, Really Right Stuff, Deep South Tactical, Archon, Salient Arms, Silencer Co., Hornady, Kinetic Development Group, Spotter Up, Vortex Optics, Phone Scope, True North Concept, and Peltor. We would like to dedicate today's show to the men and women of the United States military and law enforcement, the people that stand in the gap and keep our country free. God bless America.